What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some of my favorite lesbian prison shows. So sit back, enjoy the video, and make sure to let me know which lesbian prison show is your favorite. Being here in jail, it'll break you. 10% of the population here are women. I got charged with assault with a deadly weapon, home invasion, murder and robbery. Wanna tell me a little bit about that? Nope. Yeah, there's regulations, but there's so many relationships. That's ridiculous. We're two incarcerated people who are about to get married. Jailbirds is one of many, many reality shows about the day to day lives of incarcerated people. And even though all of these shows are very, very similar, I found Jailbirds to be one of the more compelling ones. It follows an ever changing group of women in the Sacramento County Jailhouse as they await trial, sentencing, or potential freedom. And buried beneath the fights, the breakdowns, the detoxes, and the toilet talk, Yes, the toilet talk was a surprisingly sweet yet ultimately kind of depressing lesbian wedding that definitely didn't make me cry. Jailbirds is peak reality TV, which means I binged it all in one day and absolutely fell hook, line, and sinker for that mic drop of an ending. If you're looking for your next reality TV fix, you can check out Jailbirds on Netflix. Macarena Ferreiro, ¿entiende usted los delitos que se le imputan? que se enfrenta a una condena de siete años de prisión. Materno Ferreiro, celda 234. Mamá, estoy en la cárcel. Vis a vis is easily the darkest show on the list and has more in common with HBO's Super Gritty Oz than Netflix's gentler Orange is the New Black. It tells the tale of Macarena, a naive young woman who breaks the law for her married boyfriend, and now must pay the price. In prison, Macarena eventually evolves into a very different person with very different preferences. Vis-a-vis -vis is a compelling and brutal survival story that is sometimes grueling to watch, but impossible to look away from. And there's even a spinoff called Vis-a-vis -vis El Oasis, which follows Macarena and her former rival Zulema years after the events of the first series. You can catch all four seasons of Vis-a-vis -vis on Netflix. I have a girlfriend that I love. So there. Dear God. You know, I find myself saying that phrase too a lot, but with a different inflection and <sighs> breathier. Dear <sighs> God. <gasps> oh. 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 Happy birthday! The Emmy award-winning Orange is the New Black is definitely the most popular show on the list. But if you haven't heard of it, it follows Piper Chapman, a privileged woman whose criminal past catches up to her, and she's sentenced to a year and a half in prison with the woman who snitched on her, her ex-girlfriend, Alex. Orange is the New Black is kind of like Game of Thrones, in the sense that even if you haven't watched the entire series, you've probably at least watched one episode. Not to mention the last two seasons of both shows this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, weren't the best. Despite the shark jumping, Orange is the New Black is still one of the funniest, sexiest, and queerest shows out there, and it's available to stream in its entirety on Netflix. Make slash prequel to the popular 80s Australian soap opera Prisoner Cell Block H and it is a gut punch of a show with more twists than you can keep track of. Wentworth follows inmate B. Smith and her meteoric rise up the prison ranks. But unlike Orange is the New Black, the show that I compare everything to, Wentworth is much edgier and its horror isn't confined by the prison's walls. Not to mention, resident bad girl Frankie is somewhat of a ladies lady. If she's not crushing on the governor, she's dating the prison's newest psychologist or just maintaining an open relationship with, well, whoever she wants. Wentworth also features some of the most vile and despicable characters you will ever come across. So if you're looking to earn a PhD in masterful manipulation, you can catch Wentworth on Netflix. Have you never been interested in men? <laughs> not my flavor, no. But I thought, well, I just hadn't met the right one. Now they do nothing for me. How can you be sure? Same way as you are. 
if you will. Bad Girls is a late 90s, early 2000s primetime soap opera about the life of both inmates and officers at a UK women's prison. The storylines are varied and range in seriousness, but there is one storyline that stands well above the others. And it's the reason I've watched the first three seasons of Bad Girls more times than I'm willing to admit. The chemistry between the fiery wing governor Helen and the equally fiery inmate Nikki is so palpable it nearly jumps off the screen. And if you don't believe me, just check out this clip of the two actresses attempting to film an ad together. Bad Girls is hilarious and heartwarming, a bit campy and extremely romantic, and in my opinion, it doesn't get the respect it deserves. I hope one day Bad Girls will be available to freely and legally stream somewhere, but until then, you can purchase it on DVD, and as someone who has purchased it on DVD, I highly recommend it. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Priori of the Tree. And if you want even more recommendations from your girl, Patreon is the place to be. I'm talking books, movies, and TV shows, not to mention a chance to get some high quality queer merch from my friends at Citizen Ruth. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to let me know which lesbian prison show is your favorite. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>